Why is screenwriting so hard? Well, is it hard? I guess I'll get philosophical about it. Do you mean, is, why is it hard to succeed professionally at it? Or why is it hard to actually write a screenplay? You know, it's it's not hard to write one. It's hard to write one that you could be paid for, or that someone would spend millions of dollars to make a movie from. <laughs> and that's like, in a way, it's kind of like saying, why is creating a multi-million-dollar business so hard? Well, it's just obvious why it's hard. It's like it's rare. It takes something special, both in the person and the idea and the 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 how you execute it and all that. Like there's a lot that goes into it. It's kind of like that because that's kind of what you're doing when you create a, a screenplay or a pilot. You're creating you're creating a business plan for like a multi million dollar business essentially that someone's got to put millions of dollars into. So when you think of it that way, it's like of course that's hard because whatever endeavor you were doing that you were trying to achieve that result with would be hard, or I should say it would be rare that you're successful, or it would take a lot of work or a lot of time or a lot of education or a lot of expertise or a lot of coaching or a lot of failed attempts before you get to the one that works and all that kind of stuff, right? So to me, it's like the same thing with screenwriting. Um, but you could view it like, you know, I'm learning how to play the piano, you know, and I hopefully enjoy the process of learning and enjoy the process of playing what I can play right now. I don't expect to be playing this at Carnegie Hall, but I am enjoying what I'm doing and I'm, people are hearing it and saying, oh, that was really good. But I'm also aware that when I read Aaron Sorkin's script or, you know, J.J. Abrams or whatever, oh, I can't do what they're doing, but I want to. So how did they do it? And what is different from what they're doing from what I'm doing? And it becomes, you know, or just like I listen to a great pianist, I can't do that. Well, how do they do? You know, it's a gr learning, growing process where if you're successful, you can be famous and rich and have an incredible life or whatever. But like anything like that, there's going to be very few people that, you know, get to the Olympics out of all the people doing gymnastics or whatever. So, whether you know, it's just a hard, rare competitive sort of tournament type profession on a professional level. But hopefully you enjoy the process and you get something from doing it so it becomes just a calling and a daily practice and an interest as opposed to this thing that's so hard. Because when you're focused on how hard it is, then it kind of strangles the creative process and the joy from it. Not that I don't do that on a regular basis because writers tend to you know, do that, but it's helpful to think I don't have to. Is that how you see it as a daily practice? I like that. Yeah, I set aside time daily for writing and I try to keep that appointment. And I'm also open to ideas flowing at other parts of the day or the week when I wasn't sitting down to write. But yeah, it's a practice because it's like it's rare that you have a day where, oh my God, this was the greatest day of writing ever. And then the next day you still feel it was great. And six months later, that material or whatever you did that day was so significant. You're really just doing a tiny little bit. You're putting one brick on an enormous wall every day. And some of those bricks are going to be taken down and replaced with different bricks later, maybe all of them. And so you kind of just have to be like, I'm just doing what's in front of me to do today. This is today's task. And I know at least that I can do this, or I know how to start on doing this, and I'm just gonna do this, and that's it. Or I make it a little further, but, and it's just every day you're doing that day's work. <laughs> so just as, let's say, meditation is a daily practice, somebody's showing up to meditate if they have an altar at home or whatever it is for an hour, they're taking time, they're making this sort of sacred space for themselves. Do you consider writing in the similar vein? Yeah, and those two things go together. I meditate as well, and meditating right before a writing session is not a bad idea <laughs> because definitely it helps to not have your kind of surface mind going kind of crazy, and meditation can help calm that, and writing goes better when that is calmed. So, but yeah, I do see it as kind of similar to that in a way.